Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wookie, and we're back with more Persona 3. Uh, as I promised, there'll be more, because people have been doing as I said. They've been commenting, they've been liking, which is good, because I need that in order to tell if I can continue playing this or not. Uh, so again, if you're watching the Persona series, these 20 long, these 20 long, these 20 minute long videos and longer, I want to keep it that way, and the only way I can make sure that they stay this way is that people keep watching and leave a like, do all that good stuff, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever. Anything to help me out in me playing Persona. Also, it's 420, it's my birthday. Ah, uh, fuck, I completely didn't read that, my bad. Yukari Mitsuru, the chairman, and an unfamiliar male student are sitting here. Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. I wasn't sure what I'd do if anything had happened to you. You don't look sincere. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Oh, I should also say my fan is on, so if you hear the fan, uh, that's my bad. It's super fucking hot in California. Please, have a seat. I don't even remember oh, your name. before that, I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. I've been waiting for this. How you doing? I'm good. Okay. Thank you for asking. Let me start off by asking you this. It's really fucking hot in California. But you would know that, right, Akihiko? Living here in Japan. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? I remember a girl pointing a gun at me. You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. Hidden between? I don't get hidden. I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. Like? But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. That's when I'm recording these It'll videos. It'll happen tonight, and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. So what happens if two people are having sex during the dark hour? Is one coffin on top of another coffin? Who's having sex around midnight? You all saw questions. creatures. All questions I expect to be answered by the end of this game. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. Got it. Shadow the Hedgehog shows up and attacks people. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? <laughs> you just got hurt the other day. The way Mitsuru is looking at Akihiko reminds me of when, um... I was a child and my dad abandoned us at Disneyland. Not in our lives, just at Disneyland to go ride Indiana Jones and he left my mom with a bunch of uh, tiny kids to take care of. And when he came back after riding that ride, that's the face Akihiko had and the face Mitsuru has is the face my mom had. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. I've never understood this. Who the hell would allow a club to be called the Execution Squad? <laughs> Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. Uh, the Special Extra Activity Execution Squad. Got it. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. How do you fight them? What about the police? What about the police? Unfortunately, the police can't do anything during the dark hour. It's out of their jurisdiction. They've Although got rare, diplomatic immunity. There are those who can function during the dark hour. They're called night people. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means, it's all up to you guys. I see, and I'm not sure I'm ready. I I'm see. glad you're quick to understand. Mitsuru opens the case on the table. A silver gun gleams uncannily from inside. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. 
to join the special extracurricular activity execution squad. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. All right. I'm not sure I'm ready. All right. I was afraid you'd say no. Just say no, kids. Welcome On 420, board. I never say no. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. You should look oh, it. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. You join Cease to fight the Shadows, the special extracurricular activity execution squad. A voice rings in your head. Thou art thy, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed with creating personas of the Fool Arcana. You have established the Special Extra Collector Execution Squad social link of the Fool Arcana. You may earn an EXP bonus with using personas of the Fool Arcana. You feel your inner strength growing. Recall what Igor said about the power of social links. The intensity of social links strengthen. Strength? Strength? I have problems with my essence. The power of the personas. Social links. Are these the bonds you form with people you meet? You still you are still tired from your hospital stay and you decide to return to your room. As you are dozing off, you feel someone's presence. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Who are you and how'd you get in here? How'd I'm always here? with you. Creepy. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. Well, thank God you told me. It's the end. Thanks. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to thank me. Pepsi Kula is an extremely thankful person. But you're welcome. That is what I'm supposed to say, right? That or hashtag blessed. I don't really know what this end is about either. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? You told me to sign a contract. I expect you to honor your commitment. Thanks, Mom. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay, then. See you later. He's, he talks like one of those e-boys or something. Like he's stalking an e-girl. The boy disappeared. Pepsi Cola does not offer up any of her news on any service. She's very respectful. Not to say any women who don't who do that. Never mind. Uh, shout outs to all the ladies sharing news. <laughs> Get your money. Yukari. Morning, um, things about yesterday. Akihiko Senpai's injured too, and I was really uneasy about working alone with Mitsuru Senpai. Leave it to me. Is Senpai okay? Leave it to me. Yeah, let's do our best together. But I wonder when Senpai's injury is going to heal. He said that it wasn't a major injury. Kari began talking to you in class. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? You may have one. Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. You have like 30 more seconds. Mitsuru left as soon as she was done. That was fast. Yeah, is she gonna come? Is she going back? She's probably busy with things like student council. Unlike us. Student council sounds for student uh execution council. Ooh, Yucatan! Do I sense some hostility? Shut up, Junpei. Seems that Junpei was listening in. Was listening to. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just beautiful. 
Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> Say my name. It's Pepsi. Wild Duck Burger. Iwatoda. Iwatoda. Strip mall. About earlier. It's not that I don't like her or anything, you know? Oh, I'm talking about Mitsuru Senpai. Why's Junpei always have to talk about stuff that isn't any of his business, huh? Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. He's like a poster <laughs> boy for sexual harassment. Really? I had no idea. Who knew that a character voiced by Vic Mignogna would be one of those? You know, last year he... Yeah, he was, you know... People were asking for autographs, came too close. She continued to gossip all the way back to the dorm. You know, here's something that's different. If you play a guy, I think you talk to Junpei. So that's another difference. <laughs> Dormitory 44 Commander in. Mitsuru and Akihiko are already here. Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. I hope he isn't a poster boy of sexual harassment. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. Damn it. <laughs> What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, we just had a talk about how that's not cool. I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. Creepy. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. Shoutouts to Ryuji, who also says for real. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was okay, though. Hey, don't feel bad. God. It happens to all us Persona users. God damn it, I hate you so much right now. And Matt, I was shocked to find out about you guys. That there was some kind of special extracurricular execution squad? It's not something you advertise. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? It'd be nice to have a guy around too, wouldn't it? I was asking for more penis recently. Huh? Uh, yeah. So anyway, glad to join the team. Pepsi. Let's do our best. I'm counting on you. Don't slow us down. Let's do our best. You can count on me. Junpei joined the special extra execution squad. I also think he's more aggro at you if you are a guy and you say that. Well, enough with the introductions. So that's another difference between the kind of dynamics the team has if you're playing a girl as opposed to a guy. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. Smash Brothers. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. So recent, in the beginning, there was only Persona 1. And then there was Persona 2. And then there was Persona 2 Innocence in. And now we're at five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. He's not wrong. You haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, I know. Relax. I've got your backs. Please don't enter from the back. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. What a loser. Fucking dweeb. Gekko Khan High School, front gate. This is it? 
This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. It's close to midnight. I can't say more or else I'll get sued. I ain't gonna give my zero dollars to the estate of Michael Jackson. There's a joke in there somewhere that I'm not making. See, that's another thing. This was an anime cutscene. I didn't get it now. And it's full PSP glory. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. L labyrinth? That was a David Bowie movie. It's what a are very you good talking movie. about? It's very good. Like what happened to our school? It. It's about this old guy who wants to fuck a young woman. Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. There's a guy called Lobo or something, and he gets really sad. This is the nest you were talking about? Go watch Labyrinth. It's really good. But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Everything you say, say sounds sexual. Exciting, sexual. isn't it? A little bit. There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, <coughs> but you won't be accompanying us today. She didn't really take a respectful tone. I know. You don't have to remind me. So this is Tartarus. You decide to enter the tower. Whoa. It's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. I wonder who that could be. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. Uh, you're in charge. Pepsi's in charge, baby. What? But, but she's a girl. God, you suck. Well, she has fought them before. Seriously? Damn right. That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? Pepsi. You betcha. <laughs> That's the spirit. You decide to go through the entrance. Again, if you think of this kind of in a vagina sense, it, everything they're talking about uh, sounds great. A strange door sitting in the corner of the lobby. What's the matter? There's a blue door. The velvet key in your hand is shining. The key fits the door's keyhole as it was being sucked in. Waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. The nature of my power about that door. We need to talk about that it door. It leads here, although no one but you can see it. So I'm just looking at Your nothing. power is unique. Thank it's you. like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. So like a cold, refreshing Pepsi Zero. You it's zero are calories. able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. 
Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role. The manner in which I can best assist you. Ah, but before I forget, do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? I do. Tell me. When you think of this person, what do you see? Is it a man? I think it's a woman. We're gonna go with Elizabeth, sorry. I see. Then let's bring her out for a proper introduction. I just don't care about Theodore at all, so... My name is Elizabeth. It's a pleasure to meet you. <sighs> Plus, isn't it better to have the dynamic between two girls? My Come assistant on. will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. God, I love you, Elizabeth. Talk to me. <laughs> love me. She's gone. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Really? A zombie? That's what you picked to dwell on? Oh, I get it. You're trying to yank my chain here. No girl wants to yank your chain. Don't Jubei. worry, though. I got you covered whenever you need it, man. They don't seem to see the door. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, let's go. You can check your own stats by pressing the triangle button. Also, you can save your progress by accessing the clock on the left. You can also pay money to heal by accessing the clock. That's also I want to say something different. I think back in the old days, whenever you came to the entrance, you automatically healed everything you had. So that's different. Okay, let's see. Let's talk. Since Shikari and Jupe have no real experience with Bible, make sure to back them up. Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. Please do. You'll be just fine. Alright, let's do this. I'll prove that I should be in charge. So this is Tartarus. Let's look at everyone's status real quick. Okay. Now let's do this. Now I did set it to the hardest difficulty in Magic Ready. So this is not going to be easy by a long shot. Inside Tartarus. So... This is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa. Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Caution is my really name. Perfect. Right! Got it. Why is she always like that? I know, why is she always so hot? Let's begin. Keep in mind, these are real battles you'll be engaging in. See if you can eliminate all shadows. I can do that. Let's see. Okay. There we go. That's the button I'm gonna be needing. Watch out, I detect the shadow in front of you. Move in and hit it before it attacks you. Okay. I got him. Takiba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? Yeah, sure, why the not? primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Those skills consume either stamina or spiritual power. Use whichever option best suits the situation. Keep attacking until you've defeated the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Uh -huh. Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. It's a real good song. Adi. You attacked the enemy's weak point. Here's our chance for an all-out attack! Damn right. 
see that on the top of Alright, did it, man. We got Snuff Soul. That was the first battle. That's easy. Hardest difficulty, my ass. Okay. Yeah, staircases just mean I can go to the next floor. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at a disadvantage if the enemy gets the first hit, so try to surprise your opponent with the first strike. If you're able to strike the enemy before you're spotted, then you will gain the initiative. When the enemy hits you first, then that's a very bad time. Okay, wait. This is a stealth mission. Gotta wait for him to turn his back. Okay. They're both beagle. Totally fucking had him. Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties. Which are do you want to know more? Yeah, sure. Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, swords can be used to do slash attacks, while skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Boo boo, for instance, indicates an ice attack. It means by us, fuck you. Now most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. In other words, they have weaknesses. Fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Do you follow? The enemies yeah. you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? I already have a weakness. It's fire. You attacked the enemy's weakness. Nice! Wisely chosen attack. Here's our chance for an all out attack. And another person dead. Yeah, Madison. There's a shadow just around the corner. Avoid carefully, the map useful for explorer. Yeah, yada yada yada. Ah! Run! Get out of my fucking way, Junpei. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, really? You gonna be a dick about this? You can go all the way back here until you reset. Got him. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? Yes. If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? Yes, please. An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. I had no idea. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. Yo, man, you'll be like Columbo. You can keep attacking the same enemy. Or if you prefer, attack a different target. But if all you do is attack, 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 you will be sucked. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again. Which means, you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. <laughs> It's funny that in every other Persona game after this, uh, some of them actually immediately stand now, up after being knocked down. To knock down. an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses, so don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Got it. Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Sounds good. But first, I'm going to go my tactics and say... Direct command. Direct command. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Persona! It's not gonna matter. Like the, 
with them off the face of the fucking earth. Again. Get him! I think the voice actress for this for me saying is the, the same for this So she sounds a lot like Lisa. I think her name is. Something like that. <gasps> we get to do the trouble shuffle. Uh huh. I already know what all this is. It's shuffle. Start. Pixie. Yes, I have welcomed a pixie into my heart. And now Io is stronger. Here's the one thing that kind of sucks about this version, which is again the limitations of the PSP. You don't hear them say, oh hey, I leveled up, or da da da, Junpei's number one. Who the man? You don't hear that in this version. I'll say it's all because the PSP is just like not a. It's a small ass handheld. That's why it's hard for me to really say that this is 100% a remaster when it's more like a reimagining. I detect a shadow up ahead. Well, I'll fight the shadow next time on another episode of Persona. Thanks again for joining me, and if you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and do all that other shit. You know, tell me what you feel. How do you feel about Mitsuru? I assume it's positive, but whatever. Tell me what you feel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.